Pen Zero Part-Time Hero is a Disney XD original animated series created by Sam Levine and Jared Bush and produced by Disney Television Animation. The show follows the eponymous character Pen Zero and his friends Boone Wiseman and Sashi Kobayashi, part-time heroes that travel to other dimensions to save it predominantly from the main antagonist of the series Rippon. Now, Pen inherited his role as a part-time hero from his parents, his parents, Bonnie Zero and Brock Zero are part-time heroes that used to do the same thing that he is doing, going to other worlds to fight crime, but, the crime-fighting days would be over when they got trapped in a dangerous dimension called the, most dangerous world imaginable, by Rippon. After that happened their vacancy was needed to be filled by someone and Phyllis the woman that chose his parents to be part-time heroes chose Penn to follow in their footstep which he did, though his parents are locked away in another dimension he still communicates with them through the futuristic device called Muhu short for multi-universe hologram uplink, though that is not enough for him not to miss them. Even though Penn was chosen to be a part-time hero he couldn't have done it without his best friends Boone Wiseman and Sashi Kobayashi who have been a huge help to him getting the job done. Penn's friend Boone, as his last name suggests is the wise one of the group, though he can be goofy at times he knows what he is doing. His way of doing things may come off to the others as strange but they always work out in the end. Boone's parents were also once part-time heroes. The last of the trio is Sashi Kobayashi, she is Pen's sidekick, she can be aggressive at times making Pen afraid of her but she is a great asset to the team. Her forms that she takes on in other dimensions are always silly to Pen and Boone prompting them to make fun of her. Unlike Pen and Boone's parents Sashi's parents were not part-time heroes and they don't know anything about her being a part-time hero either, in fact, they believe that she works at a restaurant called, Fish Stick on a Stick, which is actually the secret headquarter of the part-time villains. In order for the trio to travel to other dimensions they have to use the multi-universe transprojector otherwise known as the, Mutt, which is located in an abandoned movie theater near the Fish Stick on a Stick restaurant in the care of Phyllis. Now, the main antagonist of the show Rippon, is Penn's art teacher and also a part-time villain. Rippon is from another dimension but was chosen by Phyllis's evil entity Phil to come to planet Earth and live in Middleburg whilst being a part-time villain. Rippon's aspiration is to be a full-time villain one day but in order for that to happen he has to successfully accomplish an evil scheme but his plan is always being foiled by Penn. Unlike many superheroes in cartoons and movies, Rippon actually know who Pen is outside of his part-time hero duty likewise Pen knows who Rippon is outside of his part-time villain duty, in an episode Pen promises Rippon that he will give him a high teacher evaluation in order for him to be teacher of the month, despite Rippon betraying him. Rippon's minion Larry is the principal of the school. Larry is stupid and the opposite of evil which is friendly and nice, Larry can be annoying rather than a competent part-time minion, it has been revealed that he has won the lottery 32 times, he is also completely loyal to Rippon, and that is the reason why he still keeps him around even though he cannot do anything. Similar to Sashi, Larry has futuristic glasses that can project holographic displays with info on the missions. In late 2013 Pen Zero part-time hero was greenlit for a full series scheduled to be released in the fall of 2014. Pen Zero part-time hero first debuted as a preview on December 5, 2014 subsequent to it being officially premiered on February 13, 2015. Pen Zero was announced to being renewed on April 22, 2015 for a second season. However, a year later on July 19, 2016, it was announced by Sam Levine that the second season will be its last because the show has been cancelled. In Sam's own words he stated on Tumblr, I'm making this announcement to let you know that the second season of Pen Zero, Part-Time Hero will be the final season of the series. We are finishing up the story we began telling in 2014. New episodes will air through 2017, leading up to our series finale. I'm really excited for you all to see our big, bombastic, super funny, visually pretty, exponentially musical, big time exciting and emotionally everything season 2. He follows by saying, the most exciting part of making this show has been to see it resonate with an audience. To know you dig what we put into the universe is honestly the biggest gift. We made this stuff for you. And you're inspired and make your own stuff because of what we did. And that truly inspires me. Thank you all. On July 28, 2017 Pen Zero Part-Time Hero concluded with an hour-long series finale, At the End of the Worlds. 
It should be noted that during the show's duration it lost a lot of viewerships, at the beginning of the first season it had over 2 million viewers and fell down to 110,000 viewers so as you can see that's a huge drop in viewership so that could be the main reason for the show's cancellation. The fans may be glad that unlike many shows that are cancelled Pen Zero actually got a proper season finale. There was no cliffhanger to end it off. However, there was a petition to stop the show's cancellation but it couldn't stop it from happening. Is there anyone watching this video that was a fan of Pen Zero? Let me know your thoughts on the show, was it something that you enjoyed watching? Let me know in the comments. That is all, thanks for watching.